Morning, friends. Happy Sabbath. I'm glad to be with you in prayer today. Today for this Sabbath, I'm going to again offer a prayer about truth. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, as we gather in prayer this morning, we pray for ourselves and our neighbors in the world. We begin with prayers of thankfulness for all that we have received, for all the blessings in our lives. Yesterday we prayed about speech, and today we pray about truth. We recognize they should go together. Josh Billings said this, The best time for you to hold your tongue is the time you feel you must say something or bust. And also said that as scarce as truth is, the supply has always been in excess of the demand. Dear Lord, we recognize that there is often great manipulation of the truth. Claims that we know based upon science and objective fact are not the truth. Claims that what is clearly before our eyes is not what we are seeing. God, help us to understand that truth can be found in how words are spoken. Help us to understand that truth can be found in comparison of statements to the statements of others. Help us to understand that regardless of what people may want you to believe, that the truth is the truth. Lord, help us and others to speak infectious truths. Help us to accept that once we hear the truth, that we should live based upon the truth. Help us to see the truth always and help us turn away from what is clearly not the truth. But help us know that what is called a lie clearly may not be, especially when evaluated in the light of objective facts, not self-serving rhetoric. Amen. Friends, our reading for today is from Psalm 51, starting at verse 1 and continuing with verses 6 through 11. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. You desire truth in the inward being, therefore teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean, wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day and a special Sabbath.